What's up guys? How are you doing today? Um, sorry again. Uh, this video was just a little bit late. Um, I was hoping to get it earlier in the week when I put out the first one from New York. Uh, yeah, from New York Toy Fair. Um, just wanted to, you know, just give my thoughts and opinions of what has been announced and what was released um, and continuing what had occurred. Uh, there was so many other manufacturers that uh, I didn't go over because I only touched on Hasbro and what they um, ha are releasing for Marvel Legends so far. So just wanted to broaden it out, look at some of the other things that I know I can I normally collect or that I'm interested in. So um, first things first is I uh, want to give a shout out to Rick, um, who has his um, pretty much like a local website store. Uh, it is the proalio.com. Uh, they, uh, he was actually at Toy Fair um, for his very first time, which is great. Thank you. Um, uh, congrats to him for actually being able to attend because it's really only for press, media, and, you know, retailers. The, uh, he was able to capture a lot of footage, um, especially, you know, things that he would be interested in to carry in his own website. Um, but make sure you guys check out his website, take a look at it. He actually provided a coupon code that you can save some money on. So please go ahead and just check it out. If you like anything you see, um, go ahead and support, you know, a local a local shop. At the same time, uh, if you want to follow him on Instagram, check out the photos that he was able to get um, at the show. And if you have any questions, go ahead and feel free to message him. So um Link is in the description below, but we will go and show you um, some of the pics that uh, he actually has on his Instagram to kind of, you know, show you what, what was there. Um, I know probably a lot of you have already seen some of this stuff, um, but, you know, uh, we all have our different opinions on what we like um, in our own collections, of course, so it, it all varies. I mean, uh, mine is so broad and from anime to, you know, Marvel to dc to everything so and i have some gundam over here on this side so um so what i'm going to start with so neca neca um i'm not a neca collector but i love seeing what they had to put out and as big as a teenage mutant ninja turtle fan i was as a kid um it just wasn't um something that i was getting into as an adult um from a nostalgia aspect, I'm looking at this stuff and I was like, I should have started and I should have picked some up. Um, but it's so late in the game for me right now that it'll be very difficult to find some of these items. Not necessarily on clearance because it's already difficult to find them. Uh, but you will, but there's just so much out there now. And this is a perfect example of what they had to show. Uh, so, First is the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series. So they brought out, which I've seen already, and I, I'm pretty sure I've seen um, Metalhead. Maybe at New York Toy Fair, but Metalhead's there. They had Splinter, looks really good. Um, Slash, Leatherhead. I remember seeing Leatherhead before. Um, uh, there's a new Baxter. April and Casey Jones, I've seen, and the Triceratons. They they look awesome from an animated aspect. They did a great job with that. Um, they also have Krang and his android body. I forgot what that may have been called. Um, and the Rock Soldiers. That's really cool. And like a little baby shredder. And I remember that episode too. Um, then they also introduced the... Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video game line, and this is branching out to what they've already had, um, and they've made them before in the past, and it's like they got a whole new paint job, but they have all four turtles, especially with the, um, like that opening, if it was, or it's probably like the second level where they're um, surfing in the sewers, um, so they all have those hoverboard things, and then it is uh, some of the foot soldiers and whatnot, and one of the villains, and I can't remember what it was, what the name is. So uh, then they have the motion picture. So Secret of the Ooze figures, which was, I think, completely stole the show, which was unbelievable in what they revealed. They revealed Toka and Rezar. That is unbelievable, the way these sculpts are. 
and they look enormous like they look like they're like they're maybe like eight or nine inch figures maybe even taller i'm not too sure so um rick if you have a, a response to that one those are those are crazy i think they're awesome that those two alone i would want to pick up just because of the amount of detail that they have on them and from what i was told um the eyebrows and the eyes or no not the eyes just the eyebrows are articulated you can change them up that's crazy um then they have the super shredder i like the super shredder and i remember i had the super shredder when i was um a kid from the old playmates version and that was that was big for what it was and this super shredder looks great but i have a i, I was kind of weirded out by the paint that they decided on the purple because it looks like a like a cell shaded paint look it's but it's Super Shredder. That's really cool. They have Casey Jones, which was, I think, revealed to be a two-pack with um, Raph and his trench coat, which looks great. That, But to have another Raph, it's like, you, if you have the Raph already from the motion picture line, it's, eh. But it comes with a trench coat. Trench coat right there. Um, then they also brought out some other arts, other stuff. They're, they're doing Jaws now. Um, there's Brody and Quint, um, not interested, but it's cool to see cause they have soft goods. Um, kind of like, I guess how they did the golden girls. So it's, it's not bad. Um, they had a Godzilla showcase, uh, the Toonie terrors, they have season three now coming out and they all look crazy, um, for the characters that they, they, um, introduced there. Um, they brought out the gremlins restaurant scene and I can't remember if I saw that diorama or when i was at new york comic-con i saw a gremlins diorama maybe it was just um an outdoor snow s scene from the gremlins um and they have back to the future now back to the future with marty and doc um and an animated version of them too so they look really good um if you love you know your movie titles to have back to the future that looks really really good so um then let's move on to Mezco. And I, I, I love Mezco. Mezco has some awesome figures. Um, there are just times where I, I don't want to justify the price to myself, even though I know the price is valid for what the figures offer and the accessories. So um, it's funny because, you know, I say hot toys and whatnot, but I love my hot toys. I, I have a full justifiable price for my hot toys. So... Um, but Mezco, they had a huge diorama with some of the Marvel superheroes that they do. Um, and they created these Hydra soldiers. And they, of course, all look like the Netflix Daredevil body, which I have the Netflix Daredevil, which is why it looked familiar to me. But they painted them all green and they, you know, did what it did, kit bashed them. And it looks really cool. But the whole diorama looked, looked really good. Um, they have the new, they have their new proprietary brand of like, of characters so for example the gomez they have the gold gomez that you know some of the uh attendees were able to obtain the gold gomez and the swag bag which is awesome and then they just recently pre-ordered it and a lot of people are already receiving their pre-order um it looks great a gomez i think i would want a gomez and i just couldn't justify buying the gold gomez for 200 dollars, even though there's a ton of accessories that were there which is really cool um but at this time, and just paying for it all at once, mm, I couldn't do it. Uh, but it looks great. Then, But in terms of the proprietary brand, the Rumble Society, um, which is like these underwater characters. The underwater characters look really cool. Um, I'm not sure of what kind of storyline they're trying to base this on, but it, I think it just does look really good. Um, they brought out the, the 5 POA Gomez. And the Pink Skull Society is going to be a part of that now, too. So they look cool, like this animated look of it, but they, they do look really good. But for me, if I were to even have them, I wouldn't even take it out of the package because they look so good on card. Um, they reshowed the Ghost Rider. Maybe it's on its way. Mm, maybe, but it looks really good. I love the bike. It looks awesome. Um, Morbius, I saw that at New York Comic Con. Morbius does look good for what it is. I I'm not a Morbius fan, but I, it's not one that I would want in my collection. Um, but they did announce Aliens. They have the Xenomorph figure now. And then the Predator as well. 
My only thing about that is NECA has done such a great job with Aliens and Predator, with, especially with the sculpt and detail, that now with using cloth goods and creating those characters, I'm not sure how it's going to translate. Then again, anyone who was there might tell me otherwise. It might look really good. So uh, Planet of the Apes, not very familiar with it. I'm more familiar with the current movie lines, but for the old Planet of the Apes line, um, movie line, it looks nice. It's just not for me. Uh, they also showed off Gambit, which I saw Gambit at New York, Toy New York um, Comic Con. Gambit looks great. Um, for an X-Men character, I, I would want that figure. Um, showing Captain Marvel, Mr. Freeze, I saw that as well. That Mr. Freeze does look really good. Two-Face was announced um, and was, you can pre I don't know if you can still pre-order Two-Face, but it still looks really good. Um, they showed the Michael Keaton Batman, which sold out so fast on Mezco's website, but it does look really good. They have a new Wonder Woman that they're doing and a new Harley Quinn. All looks very nice. Um, and just a one-off, um, just to end Mezco and put in a new thing, Flame Toys um, showed their Transformers, but from like a Gundam-inspired look, and they look great. Um, I don't know if that's just... I, well, it is. I think it's an articulated toy, but correct me if I'm wrong, but they look really good. I love that Gundam look of it. It looks awesome. So, um, And, of course, almost forgot to mention Hasbro. Um, Hasbro now is doing their G.I. Joes, finally. And I think I've asked for G.I. Joes almost two years ago and counting. So they, there were images, of course, that were revealed, um, first with Snake Eyes, with this convention exclusive, which is already up for pre-order at um, Hasbro. Um, and it's awesome. The, ha the Snake Eyes looks awesome. But I don't know if there's going to be like a, a basic figure for that, which I'm sure there should be. Um, but for the convention exclusive, I think it's going for like 40 bucks right now with all those accessories. I'm sure all of you who enjoy G.I. Joe and, you know, saw this have already taken advantage of pre-ordering it. It's funny, on Mercari, there's someone already selling it, um, and it's legitimate too. They actually have it in hand, uh, So, but of course not at the price that you would think it should be. Um, but... Uh, I'm looking forward to picking that one up as well. Um, they introduced Roadblock um, and Scarlet. They both look great. I'm very curious to see who else is going to be in this lineup. Um, I um, just recently, you know, found my old G.I. Joes um, from my parents' house. And it's all about cleaning them up and fixing them, putting them back together. Because they deteriorated a lot. So, gotta, gotta figure that one out. Uh, then... Hasbro also announced that they have the um, Ghostbusters. Um, I am a fan of Ghostbusters in regards to um, the movie, you know, the story, the the animated series when they had it. Uh, but when it comes to collecting, I am not that person. They look great, though. Uh, if you love Ghostbusters and you love to have them in action figure form, I think these look really, really well done. Mesco did theirs. And because of the cloth goods, I think they look great too. But for Hasbro to do this lineup, um, especially doing the um, Sigourney Weaver character, can't remember the name for some reason. And at the same time, they're having a Build-A-Figure. They have the, the huge animal. God, I can't remember the name. Um, they have that as a whole Build-A-Figure for all six of these figures in the wave. So that's really awesome. That really is. So there's the new Ghostbusters. They revealed that. Uh, and um, AEW. So, yes, I'm a WWE fan. I am also an AEW fan. Wrestling is wrestling to me as long as they put on a good show. Um, Storyline, I'll be happy with it. Um, they AEW has announced their action figure lineup. And I think they look great. Um Thank God they have, you know, some sort of digital face printing. At least that's what I think they're doing with it because it looks really good. Um, but they have a great lineup of figures. Uh, and I think 
I'm not sure if I may start collecting them. I'm, I, I very might do so because of how well they look, uh, how well good, well good, how good they look. So um, let me know what you guys think of, you know, all these characters that I'm flashing around here. So there you go. Um, that is it. Don't want to have this any longer than it should be. Um, yes, they, I, I think Toy Fair did a great job. Um, Toy Fair was um, fun as always to see what the announcements are. Um, but for what NECA and what Mezco had to announce and reveal, I think they, they did a great job. And by far, the Ninja Turtles, Toka, and Razor, I think were the best show in, in my opinion. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, of course, make sure you hit the like button as well as subscribe if you're new. Um, wanted to just, oh, you know what? I went hunting. And if you saw my video from the Hasbro Toy Fair, um, the Red Hulk was released and I was able to find a Red Hulk. Can you believe that? That was just released and I picked this up and it's awesome. This thing is heavy. It's like one pound. Um, if you see my Instagram, yeah, this is really cool. So there's the Red Hulk. I was one of the few that's able to find them. Um, I was very vigilant in going through Pop Finder and Brickseek and one of the stores said that they had them. It just came off the truck and this guy was able to get off get it right out of the box. So thank you so much to that Target employee. But that was really cool. So again, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. We're gonna do another video of this for McFarlane Toys, um, Tamashi Nations and the DC Direct line. So um, look for that probably in the next day, hopefully in the same day so I can just knock this out and then put out another toy hunt. So thanks again, guys. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys have been finding and I hope to see you on the next hunt.